everybody and welcome back to my page my channel whatever platform that you are joining me from I am the Jones girl aka Kiara Jones Weaver and welcome again so today's you style Wednesday is actually going to be this piece that I'm wearing right now this is a, um, a button-down dress that I picked up from London's H&M yeah H&M dress in London so I paid about 10 pounds I don't know what that converts to to USD but yeah I paid about 10 pounds for this dress uh, in London and I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that I wear this so say some way number one that you can wear this dress this is my least favorite this is the original way uh, to wear it it comes with a sash um, the buttons go all the way down three-quarter length dress and I don't know if you can see the shoes, but I'm not going to change the shoes um, throughout this process. Um, so all three looks are going to have um, the same um, shoes because there's no need to change them. But um, this is my least favorite because it's not as flattering on my uh, figure. Uh, I kind of see I have absolutely no curves. So I, I never wear the dress like this. So this is the first way to wear it. So if you have something, if you have a... A more uh, uh, curvature, you know, uh, you know, cinched waist and things like that. Then, yeah, you can wear wear it, you know, this way. But I wouldn't recommend that for people like me who don't really have curves. So, yeah. So this is way number one. And then let me show you these quick change up. So I have two belts that I like to switch out, um, but this one, this purple one is a little matchy-matchy, so I kind of don't lean toward this one. Every now and again, I might, but I hardly lean toward this one. Um, I like the difference, you know, the... You know the pattern and the color in this belt which is like goes in the opposite direction uh, from the actual dress so I like it um, to wear it because I, I like a little bit of diversity so I remove the sash that comes with it and I hate these little things these little hook things but I keep them in there and then I unbutton because, you know, keeping it buttoned like this gives it more of a, like a school mom, you know, you know no, 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 no shade, but you know, I don't like that um, look there. And so I just take this sash and I tie it into like a bow. You can do something like that, however you want. So instead of like doing a necklace or something like that, I'll just do a bow. And then I fluff it out. Of course, you would need to iron it, but because it was just in my little, um, the little, the little holes on the side, it's all squished. But yeah, so I have that there. And then I take my pattern belt and then I just put it here. Okay. Oh, Lord, it's a little small, but, you know, whatever, get the job done. And then I like to keep the um, the button, you know, I bring up the button a little bit to give the dress a bit of more of a flare. And so it cinches in a little bit better. And then I just like, you know, with the bell sleeves and everything, it gives it like a different type of look. So I'm going to step up a little closer so you can see. You can see the pattern against the against the purple flowers, and I just I just like you know just the pop of something a little bit different, and then here and then you know and if you don't want to do that and it's hot outside, you can always put it underneath and then do like you know something kind of you know easy like that. And then you're out. And it's a really cute little way to wear the dress. And so that's look number two. Okay, so here is option number three. Um, I had to go off camera for this because I am not uh, a fashion uh, vlogger that is bold enough to have my underwear on the camera. So I had to go and 
uh, off camera and put my pants on and you know open up the dress so um, the third way I wear this dress is as a duster so remember that sash that I was showing you guys so I put it back in the hoops here put it back in the loops and I could either go here with it just tie it in the front just tie it here and don't bow it just and then kind of just pull the sides and then just wear it with the with the pants and the uh, shoes um, I'm wearing new color shoes so yeah I would definitely recommend just for a casual look a new color shoe um, so that's one way or if you want to just wear it completely open I would take the sash and just come in the back here. Oh, let's see if I can show it to you. Okay, yeah, you saw that. And just tie a bow in the back. I don't know if you can see. Okay, and I just tie a bow in the back. And it structures it for me. So it kind of pulls it on the side. If you can see that, it pulls it for me. And it just gives me a basic duster. Um, you can add some necklaces if you want. Um, you know, I didn't pull any out, so I'm not wearing any now. But, um, yeah, so this is a third option that you can wear with a basic button-down uh, sundress. Um, yeah, three different and really easy ways. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this edition of You Style today. Um, so, check out my website. I do have... Um, blogs and different looks up on my website www.thejonesgirl.com and also visit my shop because you can also shop my closet i have some really awesome pieces that are for sale um a lot of things have gone very quickly but i do still have some things up and i'll be uploading some new things into my shop uh very very soon so check back with me there and um also if you see this video and you want to shop on the site I'm going to put a discount code in the uh, description box and yeah, get 20% off for shopping with me. All right. So yeah, and then I'll put the dates for how long that's going to last. So I'm going to put that down in there too. So yeah. So thank you guys for joining me and I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye.